Hello everybody, welcome to this week's CSS challenge video. In this week, we're going to be creating this animated text reveal on the right side of the screen here, which is perfect for showing large headings in an eye-popping way on page load or when a user scrolls down to it. To get started, let's open up our index.html page to view what we have started. As you can see, we have a nice background image and that's all we have for now, which is perfect. So let's start adding the HTML that we're gonna need. For this project, the HTML is really straightforward. All we need is one set of text with a class. We'll just call it reveal text since this is the text you'll be revealing. And in here, we'll just put the text we want to reveal. And if we save that, you'll see we now have our text on the right hand side here, which is perfect. Now we can jump into our styles.css over here and start styling the actual text. The first thing we wanna do is select this text and make it a little bit larger. So we'll just increase the font size to let's say 7 em. And we also wanna make it bolder so we'll change the font weight here to be 900, which is about as bold as you can get. And we'll save that. And there we go, we now have a large bolded font right here. Now you may think the next thing we should do is change the text color to be white and then hide and show part of it as we go. But that's a lot harder in CSS than what we are going to do. What we're gonna do actually is make the text transparent here. And then we wanna add a background that is going to show on this text. So let's do background image. And this background image I have right here is just a single white pixel. And we're just gonna use URL to select that. And it's called reveal background. And if you save that, you see now we have this white background. But what we wanna do is we wanna make it so that the white background only shows where the text is actually at. And what we're gonna use is a property called background clip in order to say, where do we want the background to show? And we'll say, we only want it to show through the text. And if you save that, you'll see nothing actually happens. And you're thinking, okay, why is that? And that's because some browsers don't actually support all properties and you need to use a browser prefix in order to support that property. So we'll go up here and we'll add webkit background clip and we'll say text here. And if you say that, you'll now see that the background only shows where the text is at. And that's because this version of Google Chrome I have here does not support background clip for the value text. And we have to use the webkit background clip prefix in order to use this. And when you do this, you always wanna make sure that you put the prefixed values above the actual values, since CSS will work from the top down. And if your browser supports this natively, you want this to be the last property that's used as opposed to the prefixed version up here. Now, if you remember from our animation over here, you'll see that we have a bar moving up and down, revealing the text as it goes. In order to make that happen over here, what we wanna use is a property called background repeat, and we only want to repeat on the X axis. If you save that, you'll notice our background actually completely disappears, and that's because it's slightly above our text. So if we comment out the showing it only on the text and save that, you see we have a single pixel line of our background right here above our text, which is exactly what we want. Now we can comment that back in, save it. And what we wanna do is we wanna add an animation to our property in order to animate that bar up and down and make it a little bit larger and change the size as we go. So let's go down here, add our keyframes in for animation. We'll just call it reveal background since it's animating the background for our reveal text. And we'll start with what we want it to look like at 0%. So at the very beginning of our animation, we want the background size to be zero pixels. We don't actually want any background at all. And then we also want the position of our background, the Y position precisely, to be at 0%. So it'll be at the very top of our text. And then we can move on to our next section. So at 10% here, where do we want it to be? And if we look back at our animation over here, at the beginning, you'll notice it pauses a little bit at the top, moves down, and then pauses at the bottom. So we want a slight pause at the top. So what we wanna do is we'll go in here, we'll use background size, set it to 30 pixels so our background gets slightly larger. And then we'll use the background position of Y and keep it at 0% so that it doesn't actually go anywhere which is exactly what we want, that's perfect. And now we can move on to the next part of our animation. As you can see over here, it moves down to the bottom and then pauses there. So let's work on the downward part of our animation. So we'll go 35% here. And all we need to do is just change the background position of the Y to 100%. So it'll be at the very bottom of the text. Then we want our animation to pause right here. So we'll just say, also do the exact same thing at 45%. So now it'll pause at the bottom so now we have our animation starting at the top, pausing for a little bit, moving down to the bottom, pausing for a little bit. And now we just need to move our animation back to the top again. So in order to do that, we'll go over here, 
we'll say at 70%, we want our animation to move back to the very top. So we'll use background position Y right here, and we'll set that to 0%. So now our animation will move back to the top. And then lastly, our animation, once it gets to the very top, just fills in all of the size, so our background size increases. So what we need to do right here is at 100%, we just want to increase our background size, make it 200 pixels, and there we go, that's our entire animation complete, except for one step. We need to set our background size here to be 30 pixels, and that's because otherwise our animation from 10% all the way to 100% will slowly increase the background size, but we only want it to increase between 70% and 100%. So we tell it where to start at 70% and where to end at 100%. So now let's add that animation to our reveal text. We'll say animation. We want to give it the name, which is reveal background. We'll say it'll last two seconds. We want ease in out as our animation speed, and we'll just put it on infinite for now so we can view how it goes. And if we save that, you see we have our text pausing at the top, moving down to the bottom, moving back up, and then filling in completely, which is exactly what we want. So now let's turn our animation off of infinite. If we save that, you see that our text goes, fills up, but it completely disappears here, which is not what we want. And that's because animation by default reverts to whatever the properties in your class are at the end of the animation, and we want our animation to take on whatever properties are in 100% at the end of the animation. So in here, we'll say animation direction, or fill mode, sorry, and we'll set this to forwards, which means the animation will take all the properties from the last keyframe and save it into this. So if we save that, we now see that our text goes, stays completely filled in, and that's because we used the fill mode of forward, which means it keeps the background size of 200 pixels at the end of the animation, as opposed to reverting back to zero. And this is all there is to creating this animation. If we save our page again, we can see the animation run through again, and it looks really nice, but you'll remember we used this prefix up here in order to support this text property. But what if you get a browser that doesn't support this WebKit background or this background clip? So what if, for example, neither of these properties worked? What does our animation look like now? If we save it, you'll see this is ugly. This is not what we want. So what we want to do is we need to use a property of CSS called supports in order to say, to test, to see if the browser actually supports these two properties here before we do our animation. So we'll go in here and we'll say supports webkit background clip for the value of text, or if it supports the background clip property for text, then we want to put all of our animation background code into here. So we'll say reveal text as our selector. And in here, we want to put all of our code for animation just like that. So now if our browser supports these properties, it'll render what's in here, but if it does not, it'll render what's in here. So for example, if we wanted to emulate a browser that does not support background clip, we would just comment that out and save it, and you'll see now we just have black text. So we can change that color in here to be white. So now if we don't support this background property, we'll have this white text right here. And if we recomment this back into place, put these properties back in, and we have a browser that does support background clip, and we save it, you'll see that we now get the animation that we want. And again, if our browser does not support it, we'll just get plain white text, which is fine. So now we have a foolproof way of showing this title for browsers that are older and don't support WebKit background clip text or background clip text. And for the newer browsers that do support it, we'll get this nice reveal animation whenever our page loads. And that is all that you need to know to create this reveal animation on the right here. I have all of this code available on my GitHub for you to download locally, or you can view it on my CodePen page in order to tweak it right in the browser without having to download anything. So if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like and let me know down in the comments below what CSS challenge you want me to complete in the future. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good day.